What's going on everybody? Al here. Today I'm going to review a fragrance from the House of Creed and it's going to be Virgin Island Water. Take a look at the bottle. I love the way Creed bottles look. They're like artwork, for me at least. Like decorative pieces. You can put it on your shelf or your cabinet or wherever you store your fragrances. You have a Creed bottle or two or three and they make it look that much nicer. Great presentation from Creed. Before I get started, I want to give a shout out to a few guys at the Creed Boutique, Lewis, Rodney, and James. Big shout out to you guys. You've seen Lewis and Rodney in my Tree Sense videos at the Creed Boutique. And James, he works there. He's another worker there, but I'm yet to get him on Street Sense. So maybe one day you guys will see James' face on Street Sense. So big shout out to you guys. I'll be there real soon filming some new Street Sense videos. So we'll look out, look out for that. All right, let's get back with the review. Creed Virgin Island Water came out in the year 2007 and it's a unisex fragrance. Men and women can pull this bad boy off right here. Totally unisex. Let me give you guys the notes. The top, you have Essence of Copra, which is the white inner portion of a coconut. You have Lime of Antilles, White Bergamots, and Mandarin Orange from Sicilia. In the mid, you have Hibiscus, Ginger, Ylang Ylang, and Indian Jasmine. In the base, the dry down, you have sugar cane, white rum of Antilles, and musk from Tonkin. Those are the notes of virgin olive water. What does this fragrance smell like, if you don't know? To me, virgin olive water opens up with coconut and lime. You have the coconut and the lime dominates the opening of this fragrance. Now, I'm going to give you guys virgin olive water, my vision of what it smells like. Let's go in that direction. What does it smell like? My vision to you guys. This is Virgin Island water. You're on vacation in a tropical island. It's the perfect temperature outside. It's hot but not humid. A little breeze outside. A little salty sea breeze. Let's make it. You're sitting back. Not a worry at all. You're just enjoying life because you're on vacation. No stress, nothing. It's really sunny out. You put some nice tropical suntan lotion on. The kind that has like that coconut feel to it. It's a nice suntan lotion. You're sitting back and you're drinking a nice ice cold pina colada. The combination of the suntan lotion and the pina colada with the salty sea breeze in the air. That's what you're going to get out of Virgin Island water. Just combine all those and that's what you're going to get. The coconut, the lime, the rum, a little bit of a salty sea breeze. That's what this fragrance smells like. It's, to me, it's a linear scent. You put it on and you get that coconut with the lime. The lime kind of does tone down a little bit, but the coconut's there from opening to dry down. And it, it's a really nice fragrance, really well blended. I really enjoy this. Now, people say they get three hours, four hours longevity out of virgin olive water. I get anywhere from four to six hours. Four hours on a bad day, six hours on a good day. So that's not that bad. And virgin olive water projects, it's tricky because sometimes it projects for two hours, sometimes it, it'll go up, up to five hours, depending on how my skin is that day. So it's a tricky fragrance on my skin, that is. Anywhere from two to five hours on projection. You're going to hear stories, some people say it lasts eight hours, some people say it lasts three hours, four hours. It depends on your skin. It is a fragrance that I wish did last long. I wish it gave me eight to ten hours, but it doesn't. And it is what it is. But, like I said, it is a great fragrance. You're on vacation, you're enjoying life, you're getting the coconut, the lime, the pina colada, all that right here. So well blended. Now, a fragrance that's compared to this, a cheapy but a goodie, is Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bars. I can see that kind of resembling this, but in a very synthetic way. So, if you don't want to spend money on Virgin Island Water, then you can try Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bars but it's night and day difference. If you put the two on on paper or on your skin, you'll see night and day difference. This is just in a class of its own. I really enjoy this fragrance a lot. I mean, you see I use a lot of it right there. Take a look. Let's show you something else. Take a look at this. Two four ounce bottles of it. This one's about 85% full. This one's about 15% full. So you know I enjoy this fragrance. When the weather's warm outside, I'm wearing Virgin Island Water. And I do have a decant of it. I carry a decant of Virgin Island Water in my pocket. 
So when I wear it after four hours, if I feel like it's dying, I replenish myself with a few shots of this bad boy right here. Now how to wear this fragrance, you cannot overdo it with this fragrance. You can spray as many as you want. You can put four sprays, you can put eight sprays, you can put ten. It doesn't really matter. This is one of those fragrances, it's not going to choke anybody out. You cannot over apply with this. So feel free, be trigger happy with Virgin Island Water. And you, like I said, you can carry a decan with you if you want, if you feel like you're not getting the performance you want out of this fragrance. Carry a decan with you and you can replenish yourself after, you know, three, four, five hours, whatever, however it lasts on your skin. Now, let me give you the sizes in this fragrance. Virgin Olive Water comes in four sizes. You have the one ounce, it's a 30 ml, goes for about 155. 2.5 ounce, 75 ml, goes for 260. Four ounce, which that's what this is right here. That's 120 ml, goes for 315. And then you have the 8.4 ounce, the 250 ml flat cone, goes for about $420. So this is a very pricey fragrance. It does cost a lot of money and Yes, the performance is kind of weak for that kind of money. But if you're a fragrance collector or a fragrance fanatic like myself and you can, you know, afford it or you want to save up, I recommend trying this. It is a very nice fragrance. It's a nice scent. It gets a lot of compliments. Men love it. Women love it. And how could you not love this fragrance? And of course, it's a warm weather fragrance. Warm weather all the way. I don't recommend cold, cool weather at all. This is warm, 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 hot weather fragrance right here. Age, any age, any age at all. Teenager, high school, adult, any age. Occasion, I'm gonna say, pretty much any occasion. You could wear this if you're going to the beach. I recommend going to the beach or you know, hanging out in the sun. But on a summer night too, you could put this on. If like you just came back from the beach, you take a shower, you're getting ready to go out. You feel your skin is like feeling like a little oily from you know catching some sun. Throw this on and you'll feel great. So you can wear this anytime in the warm weather. That's what I'm gonna say. So a warm weather fragrance, any age can pull this off. And it is a great fragrance in the house of Cree. I really enjoy it. This is one of my go-to guys in the summer. Virgin Island Water. And that's pretty much it. That's my take on this. Like I said, you're at the beach. You're on vacation, you don't have no worries at all, no stress. You put some suntan lotion on, you're sipping an ice cold pina colada, and there's a salty sea breeze in the air. That's what you're going to get. Combine all that, that's Virgin Island water for you in a bottle. The price, it is a little pricey, but you know what? It's worth it. So definitely, if you haven't checked out Virgin Island water, I would highly recommend check it out from the House of Creed. Get a sample, get your nose on it. And that's my review on this well blended fragrance, a fragrance that I truly enjoy. I actually did a Street Sense video on it. I will do another one. I feel like Virgin Island Water deserves another Street Sense video. So look out for that. I'll hopefully get that going real soon. And I have a few more reviews lined up and some top tens and a giveaway coming real soon. So look out for that. And of course I have a bunch of Street Sense videos that I'll upload soon. Look out for that. And I'm also planning on doing a battle of fragrances. I'm going to bring that back. So. I have a lot of things lined up. So on that note, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.